All right, well, here we are on a uh, lovely uh, flight to some tropical islands, which I'm very interested in uh, getting to uh, right over here as we get out of the Good summer. Good afternoon, what? passengers. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're currently at our cruising altitude of 30,000 oh. feet, and we're All right. coming into some uh, minor turbulence right now. So if you could go ahead and keep your seatbelts fastened, everything oh. will be just fine right. at the moment. Well, I didn't think that. Oh, okay. All right. It's a little bit more than turbulence. Jesus. Oh, I guess it's over now. All right. The minor turbulence has ripped the engines off of the plane. So uh, we are going to be hurtling toward the ocean right now and probably dying. Uh, I will, however, aim for the one single patch of island instead of going for a much safer water landing. So uh, we're all going to die. Go ahead and kiss your ass goodbye. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, that escalated quickly. Jesus. Okay, well, here we are with a brand new survival simulator in VR. It's called Survival Simulator VR. Uh, our job is to, after crash landing on this island, not die. So it says, what does it say there? Scavenge the crash site. Sure. So as we walk along, there's a couple of different locomotions. I'm gonna try the regular walking. I think that you can like laser things and pick them up. What in the sweet Jesus? Supposedly you could build all this stuff. So you could build like a like a hut and all kinds of different tools and things like that. There we go. Did it. We even have a pair of hands. That's that's a that's a plus one in my book. Oh, there's a knife over here. Like a butcher's knife. It's not even really like a survivalist knife. It's like well, I guess it kind of is. I was gonna say it's almost like something that my wife has in the kitchen. Man. This is actually a pretty good looking game, like for VR. Got some uh, extra water over here. Now we have some different things that we can, what the hell? Is that a giant rabbit? Oh my God. Hold on everyone. We, I have to mention something. Is this like a, a free, look at this thing. It's like a mutant bunny. Hold on bunny, come here. Old Gray's gotta say hello. Where you go? Yeah, it's like a friggin' bunnelope. All right, we need to get like weapons and stuff like that. I'm a little bit worried about what's up here. What is this? Is this rope? Looks like rope. What can you make with this, I wonder? I assume we should build our first uh kind of place here by this plane. So I I mean, I'm just gonna kind of like... That wasn't really where I had intended on throwing that, but whatever. So I lost my knife, but it's fine because now I found this flashlight, which is pretty friggin' sweet. We have a tool belt here. We can carry arrows and two things, and then this is like our little building chunklet. Oh, uh, there's, like I said, I think I want to build our base somewhere right around here. There's all kinds of, like, water, and I think that there was some, like, food on the ground and stuff like that. The bunnelope is gone. He's been replaced by what I can assume is a wild pig or something. I think we can hunt those. I just need to get, like, an axe and stuff like that first. I'm just gonna kind of, like, throw some things off the wing here so that we can get them later all these little pfft, I guess the map on our belt has like real physics to it all these little waters and stuff like that just so I can pick them up later if we need them all this rope's got to be important for something there's not like a ton of tutorial to this game so you kind of have to figure things out for yourself as to like what we're gonna build and stuff oh that thing just like went right underneath me is there fall damage in this game oh hi okay clearly it's not vicious thank god I guess let's search around the entire the entire area over here. The prop came off. Damn. It's like a wheel. Oh, that's the landing gear. This is pretty legit. Is that a soccer ball? Can you use this? Huh. You can pick up a soccer ball. I mean, I assume it does something. I just don't know what. Besides bounce. I mean, what other kind of stuff do we have on this wing? You see, there's, man, there's, there's like stuff everywhere. Oh, what is this? What is this, like beef jerky? I have no idea what this is. Looks like beef jerky or something. Oh, there's a lighter over here too. So you can you can ignite things with the trigger. So right over here, we've got a little fire and a little light. So we can start a fire if we need. Let's go ahead and keep that on us because I have a feeling that's gonna be like freaking important. Again, I, I don't really, I'm kind of just testing this game. You know what I mean? So I, I don't really know everything that we're allowed to do and all the different things that we might have. There's more bars and stuff up here. There's just stuff like littered all over this plane. There's a ton more water over here. I guess let's head away from the, uh, from the plane a little bit and see what we can find. Like, I don't know if I can take down these branches or sticks or what. Oh, you can climb. Look at this. You can actually climb up this stuff. So, does that mean that I can climb up this tree if I wanted to? Problem is I can't really see. It turned to night pretty quick. It's actually a pretty cool sky. Huh, doing some scavenging at night here. Well, as best I can. I got my flashlight, which I'm pretty lucky. I don't even know if 
there's batteries or what? Like if this thing runs out, I'm looking for like sticks and stuff because I think that's what we need to start legitimately making things. I wish I had my previous start because I had my knife then. So can you climb up the trees? and get the coconuts? It kind of seems like you would be able to, but I don't know if you can. They're just kind of sitting here looking at me sideways. I think I need like my, my knife or something back in order to do it. Oh, okay. Doing damage to the tree. Very interesting. What is this? Ooh, okay. All right. So, um, great. I'm using teleport right now because it's a lot easier. So now that I have a stick, I think I can make- I think I could use the rope that we found earlier. I found my knife again, by the by. I think I can use the rope over here and turn this into something. So if I grab this, and I do this, and you kind of like shove it together in front of you with great prowess. Oh, actually, we might need a rock. I'm gonna leave that stick there for right now, though. Can I stab a rock with this? Oh, you actually can. Oh, all right. Hi. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what I want. Let's, uh, let's bring this back over here. Teleport, the arm swing works really good, but the teleport is just a little bit smoother in how quickly you can move around. All right, now let's shove these together and we should get, come on, baby. You know what to do. I played, I played survival games before. I think I know what we're doing wrong. I think I want the full log instead of just a stick. Although I think that there's stuff that we can do with that stick. I'm just not hundred percent sure what yet. So grab the rock and the stick and I ah. think, Okay, I'm sorry. What happened? All right So Some things have changed. Um, I'm wearing a completely different outfit and my beard is slightly longer That's because several days have passed on the island actually in real life a day has passed I had to mess with something because there was a bug that I couldn't get past but the developer fixed it So all is well though. I learned how to do things and so I can share that with you. As you see, we have a legitimate fire here. A fire is made by using our patented Zippo and a log and putting them together and you get fire. It's glorious. Now, supposedly, I've got some other things here too. I've got a beady stick. That's my club that I use for... Okay, I've got this hatchet. I'm just gonna leave that on my belt right now. So there's our tool belt. That's where we can put the arrows. I've got the bow made. I just need the arrows now. Now, supposedly we can make the arrows with our freaking Crocodile Dundee knife over here and a stick. So first things first, we gotta find a stick in the darkness. I don't actually know where the flashlight went to. I think I found a stick. Put that there. Hopefully nothing blows up while I do this. All right, stick. Oh my God, what the hell did I just do? Grab this, please. All right, stick. Oh my Jesus, we immediately made an arrow. Okay, that is way beyond Crocodile Dundee. I don't know of another man who can instantaneously make an arrow. Our stick is on fire. Interesting. The fire has transferred from the log to the stick. I didn't know that the sticks were flammable. Well, can you make a flaming arrow? Because that would be amazing. Oh, I set the I set the log back on fire. We can like, we can move our fire back and forth. That's glorious. Hold on, let me see if I can, come on. Can I make... Yes! Oh, a hundred times yes! Okay, so now it, it registers we have one arrow, two arrows. So now how do you use the arrows? We're waiting for daytime to come over here too. It should be here in just a minute. After I figure out how arrows work, I'm gonna build our fortress of sadness, which again, will probably just be a square. All right, so this, oh, do we just pull? Do you just use it? Oh, okay, how about if I grab an arrow? This might work. Hold on, grab this, grab this. Oh! Oh, the bow actually doesn't really bend back. It just kind of fires the arrow. Oh, wow, the arrow legitimately fires. The The thing doesn't bend, but we do fire the arrow and we can actually get it back. Okay, that's good to know. The sun is also coming up, which is kind of nice. All right, we're wicked thirsty. There's a steak laying on the ground. That's cool. I'm gonna put that over by the fire. We need some water, like really bad. I think I saw some water bottles. There's one. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I saw some water bottles laying around. You grab it, you just eat it. You just eat the entire water bottle like it's no big deal. There we go. Hydration's back up. Now, supposedly you can get coconuts and that's pretty hydrating as well. So the way you get sticks in there, have you, is you go over to a tree that looks, that's looking at you wrong and you grab your, oh my God, I can't even see. You grab your axe to do like this. I don't know if I could beat this tree. Oh, mother of God, I destroyed the entire tree. I'm kind of happy about that because it was providing way too much shade. I don't like this tree either. Feel the pain, tree. Oh, and after you beat the tree down, okay, you can beat these logs, which allows you to get planks. 
and that allows us to get building material for our impending fortress. Supposedly you can make a spear or something too. Get out of the way here, mappy thing. Come here, I want you. I'm just gonna kind of throw you. All right, log plus machete. Oh, totally worked. Okay, so now we have a spear, like a legitimate spear, like a throwing spear. Yes, we can hunt with this, hunt delicious food. I think we can also throw it, although I'm kind of derpy when it comes to like picking things up in this game. Oh, I can throw it with my extended arm of like Marvel superhero-ness. Does it work? Not really. Okay, let us try and just hunt with our bare hand. I think that's gonna work a lot better. Now, I thought I saw a wild boar or something over here. There, oh, it's a wolf. All right, scumbag. Ah! Ow. <laughs> what, why is it ah! not dying? What, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, a stake just flew out of its body. A steak legitimately just exploded out of its body. Here, here's a couple more beats for you. I don't know if it like dies eventually or what. We're kind of injured, but let's go grab the meat steak that just exploded out of its heart organs and take this back to camp. Just dropping my meat off. You boys know. Glad I kept that freaking steak around. Now, supposedly you can start a fire with just rocks besides using the lighter that we have. So if you take these, now these are two completely different rocks. All right, I think it's possible that you get a better spear if you have a certain rock as well. What happens if I kind of like do this? Does this does this do anything if I thrust this inside of here? Oh, hold on. We've got wildlife rolling up on us. Uh, I'm gonna put that there and that there and we're gonna do some bow hunting. I'm gonna see if I can hunt this thing with a bow. All right. Ready? I think I missed. Come here, scumbag. Did you right for me? Boom! Right in the keister. It didn't die though. Oh, 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 it's glitching out on me. That's okay, we'll grab our axe and we'll axe this thing that's... <sighs> Can I pick this up? Oh, it's so powerful looking. Like, look at the giant tusks on this thing. We totally killed it. Oh, we got two beef steaks for this one. Well, that's fortunate. Now, supposedly you could cook these steaks on the fire. I don't know what a cooked steak looks like compared to a normal steak. So we'll just do this and pray to God it works. Okay, no. That right there is a hearty stack of beef. I'm gonna tell you what. Now supposedly there's like iron veins and stuff. I think all you have to do to mine is just smash this. And I think that's our iron, I think. I don't know if this is a, st this looks like iron. This looks different than the other ones. What happens if you grab two pieces of iron? Does it just make the awesome sparks of fortitude? It does. Oh, the stakes are golden brown. Look at that. Hold on, let me put that down. Oh, yeah. Look at that thick meat torn right out of Publix shopping catalog. Mmm. Perfect. We're at full health. Okay. So if I grab the spear... No. No. If I grab the spear and I grab a rock and we mix these together, do we get like a more powerful spear? No. How about this and the knife? No, I think we need a, um, I think we need a stick for this. Now for a stick, we need a crappier plant, like one of these over here. I think we also need coconuts to um, fix our, oh, there's bananas. Look at that. These are banana trees. Well, I don't want to cut these down now. I feel kind of bad. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's also palm trees over there. I'm going to cut down one of these. I mean, we'll deal with it. It'll be fine. Holy ball sack. Okay, so now get one of these sticks. All right, now. Do we get anything epic when we mix these two items? Come on, baby, drink it. Oh, it's an ax. Is it the exact same ax that I had before? It looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same. Well, I guess it's always good to have two. About an entire log. What happens when you do, whoa, oh no. What, what is with you? What is this? Oh, it's like the king spear. Hold on, look at this. That's cool, okay. This is what we can use to hunt from now on. If any would-be scumbag wildlife tries to roll up on us, we got the king spear. Now, supposedly, we can start building some things. Now, all life starts with a platform. So I'm just gonna kind of build out here by our, I don't know if this can rotate or what. Like, I don't, oh God, it can rotate. You can rotate it by kind of like swishing your finger a little bit. So let's put it there, okay. So now we have our very first platform. Can you make stairs? Oh, that just got rid of the platform. Well, that sucks. 
It looks like you can have stairs, but it has to go inside. See, I just made stairs over there. Let me, uh, let me try and get more, let me, can I get more platforms up? Like more, fa I guess I'll call these foundations. There we go. Starting to get more now. Oh, come on, click, click in there, click in there. Is that a, is that a light? I don't know how you get a light, but whatever. Okay, let's go get some more wood so we can kind of finish off our little cabin. We'll make it like two stories high. Sorry, tree. You gotta get rocked. Just kind of, just kind of drill it right into all this. And you can pick it all up super fast, see? Watch, we teleport over here. Just lay it on top of it. There it goes. Bash it right down with the axe. Perfect. Got like more iron ore over here or something. I really don't know what this is. I'm gonna take it down though. We'll need the rocks. I'm just gonna destroy all this. This is how we do. Mankind just comes to a random island and we just destroy all nature. I'm kind of curious how big this island is too. I haven't really like, like we can explore it a little bit. I'm just afraid that it's so big that we won't be able to make it back to our camp. But for right now, getting all this wood. How much wood do we have? 32 pieces. Now we can make a legitimate hut. Oh, there's sad little plants over here. Do you get like sticks? Wow. I got like sticks and logs and everything from that. How about these little plants? Yeah, these tiny little plants just give you a ton of wood. That's so odd. Oh, I can't put a platform here. Well, that makes me sad. Oh, I kind of could. Oh, 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 my God. Okay, yes. Freaking fantastic. We'll glitch it in there one way or the other. Old Gray will make it happen. I'm gonna tell you what. All right, let's get a door frame going. Um, how do you do that? You gotta turn around. Oh. There's like struts you can put in. This must mean something. This is probably how we put up our walls. I'll bet. Yeah. Cause you can make a bunch of these. I'm gonna put these everywhere and we'll see if we can start getting like a door frame up or something. Yeah, one over there. I don't know if like I'm putting these in the right spots or what. I'm just kind of doing whatever I want right now. All right, door frame. Yes, sweet. Door frame, lovely. How about a door? Oh, we're doing it, baby. We're doing it. We got a door now. There's a friggin' is that like a bobcat or something over there? Oh, I think it's a fox. All right, we got a windowed wall. I like that. We'll have we'll, we'll overlook the whatever that is, the death of the plane over there. Let's get some normal walls up. Normal wall over. Oh Jesus. Okay. Nope. Don't want this. There we go. Normal wall there. What in the holy hell is that wall doing? Not doing what I tell it to. That's for damn sure. Oh, you know what? We don't have a post. That's why. We need a post there. And we need a post back here, too. That's why we couldn't make our wall. It all makes sense now. I think I want another window over here. Right there. There we go. Wall. There we go. Starting to look a little bit better now. So, can I? Can we just teleport inside, or how does this work? Like, do you have to open this, or? Oh. Hold on. That pig is calling my name. Where's our, where's our spear of the gods? Here it is. Oh. Oh, pig, you should have, you should have friggin' known, dude. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, stakes everywhere. Just like I had originally intended. Uh, we'll get the stakes in a minute. Let me put the spear back. All right, man. Dual wielding our meat. One of the meats fell. Just gonna drop the other meat because we don't need it right now. We need water. A lot. We may have to grab a coconut. Now, supposedly, you can climb these trees for coconuts. Uh, you can also break your friggin' legs. Oh, yeah. Whoa, okay. Oh no! Uh, are there any coconuts up here? I wasn't seeing any. Maybe it, maybe that's not really a coconut palm. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong type of palm tree. Oh, it's a bear! I don't have my spear on me. We're not dealing with that right now. All right, luckily I found another bottle of water. Again, it's not really the way to go, but it's what we got. We've got some more cooked meat that we can eat because we're kind of hungry. Oh, there's another bottle of water. Let's grab this and bring it back over by our sad little camp that we have going. All right, there we go. Now at least we got a bottle of water over here. We need a little bit of meat. Luckily we have a whole friggin' stack sitting around. Go ahead and chow down on that. Let's keep our fire going at night. There we go. There's a couple other steaks over there that we could cook, but I'll just, I don't know if they like burn up to a crisp or what. I'm gonna leave them on there for right now. Oh, you can make a half wall. That's what that is. I want a ceiling. Which one, which one's the ceiling? I'm assuming it's the first, the second one? Like this one here? Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Okay, so we made some ceilings. Now it looks like there's a friggin' light. I don't know how exactly we would manipulate this to have a light. I really don't care. I just want it. What in the hell? Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. It does work. Yeah, right there. And I want another one right there. Perfect. We've got light. Freaking awesome. Now we have like a legitimate cabin. Holy crap. Okay, let's put some more walls up so we can get the rest of the ceilings going. Don't y'all worry about me. Old Gray's just beating his wood. All right, it's important if you want to continue to make big decks and stuff like that. You've got to beat lots of wood. 
in order to get a big deck. All right, another door. Boom, there we go. Now we're gonna make another wall. This, boom. And now we have a completely walled in structure. Okay, so now I can finish up with my ceilings. Uh, uh, and there we go. There we go. Now we can do two more of these lights. Boom, boom. There we go. All right, freaking sweet. I've got everything I want. I don't know what this is. There's a, there's one other object. See that object right there next to the light? What is that? What is, is it like a shelf or something? I don't actually know what this is supposed to be. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it because here we can go up top and now this will be the second level. The sun is coming up as well. The stairs doesn't really want to connect outside. That's fine, I guess. I'm just gonna put our stairs there. It's a little janky, but it works. There. Oh yeah. It is a brand new day. And we have a brand new cabin and it is looking freaking sweet. I guess we can go look around the, the island real quick. Oh, I found the coconut trees. I think those are coconuts. They're they're pretty close. Can you just can you oh crap. Can you just grab them? Can I just knock them off? Do I need it? Oh! Oh no! My coconut trees! That's not what I had intended to do. All right, well, fine. Oh, I found the water. Like, it's right here. Oh, these are some towering looking palm trees too. But yeah, supposedly the only way to get your, uh, your drink back on is either to use coconuts to find water bottles, which there aren't that many of, or supposedly there's a lake out here, a freshwater lake that you can get to. And if you drink from that, it'll refill your thirst. Oh, is this it? Now, it said you have to dunk your water, uh, you dunk your head under it. I think I get way down here. No. I don't think that counted. Man, this would be a cool area for a base, too. There's like a little lagoon over here. Oh! I think I found it. This looks legit. Oh, can I drink? Can you drink from the waterfall? No. But this looks like the fresh water that we're talking about. I wonder what happens if you just jump right in. There we go. That worked. Yep. There we go. So we found the freshwater lake with the waterfall and everything. Man, this would be a cool place for a base too. All right, I've been running around for a while. This island is actually pretty big. I'm gonna end it up here though. What do you guys think of survival simulator? You can do a lot of stuff so far. It'd be great. Like they, if they can add like fishing and like more items and like maybe a rain catcher to catch water and stuff like that. That would be amazing. More stuff to find on the island. Like maybe things that wash up or things that you can dig up or something like that. That would be pretty cool too. I don't know. What you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and, I don't know, stab the old like button with a giant spear or something like that. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.